Scoring goals is often described as the hardest thing to do in football, and as such, centre forwards tend to be overpriced. Finding a striker capable of consistently finding the net can be difficult, particularly at the top level. Recognising when your club already has one would also appear difficult, or at least it is in the case of Olivier Giroud. In his four years at Arsenal, Giroud has averaged 20.5 goals per season across all competitions. He has scored 82 goals in 188 appearances. That's not far off a goal every other game. Ordinarily, players capable of consistently scoring 20 goals a season for a Premier League club are sought after, yet Giroud is often undervalued by fans. We asked our followers in a Twitter poll to tell us how much they thought Giroud would be worth. And whilst we know this is not scientific and is open to bias, of 100 responses, 59% chose the lowest bracket, stating that he was worth between 15 and 24 million pounds. So given his goal output, why is Giroud perceived to have a comparatively low value? Legitimate answers can be found in his age. At 29, he's approaching the close of his career. You might also suggest that, at Arsenal, excellent service can account for some of his output. But likely, the foremost reason for his undervaluing is that he is not considered an elite striker. His output, whilst consistently high, does not rival the best in his position. However, given the very small number of elite strikers, Giroud's value as a consistent scorer should still be recognised. In five years with Manchester City, Sergio Aguero has averaged 27.2 goals per season, that's 0.65 goals per game. On average, that's just under seven goals a season more than Giroud. Yet transfer market have Aguero valued at £52 million, whereas Giroud is valued at just £21 million. In 2014, the website Sporting Intelligence worked out, based on the broadcasting income of clubs, that each Premier League goal was worth just over £900,000. With just seven goals a season difference between the two strikers, the £31 million difference in valuation seems slightly excessive. In fact, when Giroud moved to Arsenal from Montpellier, he did so for a transfer fee under his valuation. The same happened when he moved to Montpellier some years earlier. It would appear that Giroud is perennially undervalued. He isn't the most exciting player to watch, but his ability to score goals cannot be denied. Johan Cruyff once said that quality without results is pointless, but results without quality is boring. In a broad sense, this perhaps explains the reason for the undervaluing of Olivier Giroud.